Hello, Brian Olton back with another super cool slide reel tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to test a relay. The first thing you should do is find the wiring schematic. The schematic can usually be located somewhere on the body. On this one, it is located here. Please note that the coil terminals located here are not in the schematic. This is where the low voltage is supplied to make the relay switch positions. On this relay, the coil voltage is 24 volts. When 24 volts is supplied to these two terminals, the relay should switch the terminals that have continuity. The symbols located here indicate that there should be continuity between terminals 1 and 2 and continuities between terminals 4 and 5 in the normal position. Normal position means no electricity is being supplied to the coil. Once you supply low voltage to the coil, these two contacts lose continuity with terminals 1 and 4 respectively, and these two should now have continuity with terminals 1 and 4. Once the low voltage is interrupted, the contacts should return to the normal position. To test this operation, set the tester to continuity. One test lead goes to terminal 1, and the other test lead goes to terminal 2. You should have continuity. Next, check terminals 4 to 5. If either of these do not have continuity, replace the relay. Next, supply low voltage to the coil and test for continuity from terminals 1 to 3 and then terminals 4 to 6. If either of these terminals do not have continuity, the relay is also bad. This concludes our tutorial. But please stay tuned and let us introduce you to the super cool slide rule. This tool will save you lots of money by saving you lots of time. It is a must have tool. Thank you for watching. Hello, I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheater subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas. It has capacitors, rules, and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for duct work, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself, as well as your customers, to own this tool. It's less than $20, including shipping. The Super Cool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today, and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.